Don't let this admittedly awesome tune fool you. This game sucks. I'm sorry, did you think that zooming in on the touchscreen prompts was somehow epic? Oh, excuse me, not zooming in, but cropping out the rest of the image from the other screen. Also, why is the cropped out mirror image somehow higher quality than the other FMV? Why is the background not the same for these two images, yet you forgot to erase some parts from it from the other image? Oh no, you know how I know this game is gonna be bad? The intro music lulled you into a false sense of security, but this title screen music is something I swear I've heard in some Wii shovelware game. Did you- Did you just do that stupid shit where you start a story with a quote from not only a fictional character, but a fictional character from the story you're about to tell? Why do I feel there should be a Newgrounds watermark in the corner of the screen for this? What the hell is happening? Why is the art in this game so inconsistent? Why do we have this really nice art for the chapter title cards, but then we have like the PBS comic book version for some of the cutscenes, but then the intro had this really cool and unique looking art style, but then the actual portraits of the characters in game look like they were ripped stills from Sonic X. We're in big trouble, Sonic. I don't know if you heard, but Knuckles has gone missing, and so have the Chaos Emeralds. A group of criminals called the Marauders took him. Please, Sonic, we need your help. How did they find out about the name Marauders? I can't imagine that they introduced themselves when they took Knuckles. Also, if Knuckles was kidnapped, he hasn't gone missing. You know who took him. Knuckles was fighting against the Marauders when he disappeared. We're not really sure who they are, but they're big trouble. So, no one was there when it happened? How do you know it happened? Amy Rose is on her way to meet you. Once you find her, meet me at my workshop near Central City. What's with the formalities? Sonic only knows one Amy. Why use her full name? Oh shit, I didn't know Disney started making 2D animated films again. That's sick. Ha! Ah, Green Hill Zone. We've had some good times here, haven't we, Tails? Good times? Like Eggman turning our animal friends into robots and pitting them against us? Wait, so you have been here before? I don't get it. Sometimes Tails remembers Green Hill, other times he doesn't. What's that? Truth, damn it! Good times? Like Eggman turning our animal friends into robots and pitting them against us? Yup. Good times. Damn, Sonic. You're different under Bioware. That's an armadillo? How did they go from that to this? Also, why do we have normal ass animals in this world, but then we have the absolute freak of nature that is Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic! What happened? Someone's trying to block my way. Why would someone do that? I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Sonic. Don't worry, Tails. I'll find a way through this. Just jump over it, man. The boxes don't seem that tall, and you can jump pretty high. I'm so glad to see you, Sonic. But not that glad. I do have a boyfriend now, you know. His name is Dexter. How have you been, Amy? Oh, I've been just wonderful. Dexter is so sweet. He always buys me flowers, and he's always nice to me. Unlike some people I know. Oh, yes. My Dexter. When can I meet this Dexter? Oh, uh, he doesn't live around here, and he's very busy, you see, so I'm not sure when he could meet you. Oh, totally. It's like when people say that their wives go to a different school in Canada and live with their boyfriend, Ethan. Do you know anything about Knuckles? Tails says the Marauders got him, but no one knows who they are. I hope he's alright. Without him to protect the Master Emerald, we could all be in danger. <laughs> Come on, Amy, how many times has Knuckles been away from the Master Emeralds and everything's been fine? The picture on the tab tells you what kind of thing you're about to say. Sometimes it's a question, or a statement, or even something a little snarky. I know it's nice to rush to the next thing, but sometimes you'll miss out on some information or story that way. Sometimes it's good to slow down and ask questions or talk to your teammates. Oh, really? So, what's your favorite color, Tails? Um, well... Oh, haha, -ha, Sonic! Not that kind of question! Irrelevant. I asked you a question, I expect a response. The Sonic Wiki will never be complete unless I have this information. Tez's workshop is in the northeastern area of Central City! Let's go! Just don't get any ideas. I have a boyfriend now, you know. Yes, you've only mentioned it like 12 times now. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is not how I wanted the Chow Garden to come back. Ah yes, my favorite Sonic items. Rings, Chaos Emeralds, and Prune Juice. That's far enough, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! It's a Marauder! Is that what your people are calling us? Quaint. Wait, so that's not their name. Where did the name come from then? Where are you keeping Knuckles? I'm not here to answer your questions. Shade sent me here to stop you. 
Who is Shade? You expect me to tell you that? Now, now, Sonic. We just met. Well, you told him about Shade when you had no reason to. The Marauders are powerful, Sonic! Much more powerful than a few armadillos and boars! If this Shay sent just one to stop you, she must be confident that he has a chance against you! I'm ready to fight this Marauder now! Good. Shay told me just to stop you, but I'd much rather knock you out. Would knocking me out not count as stopping me? How was I ambushed? We all knew the fight was gonna start! And trust me, that happens way too many times in the game. The characters know they're about to fight someone and somehow get ambushed, meaning the opponent gets a free hit in. Central City! We made it! This is Central City? What, did they never rebuild the city after the Black Arms destroyed everything? Well, well, well. Sonic the Hedgehog. And better looking than ever, I see. You look like you've been working out. Leave him alone! Oh, I'm sorry. Am I flirting with your man? But here I thought you had a boyfriend. Where would you have heard that? I'm pretty sure the first time Amy mentions it in this game is the first time she said it to anyone. We don't know where they're keeping him. If we just go out there without a plan, we'll waste whatever time Knuckles might have left. Luckily, we're not in this alone. God has some ideas where we might look. We're supposed to go into the city and meet with the gun commander and work out a plan. Why do we need to work with Gun? As you know, Gun is the guardian unit of nations. They're the military, Sonic. They helped us when we defeated Eggman, and they're willing to help again. They also locked an innocent Sonic in prison, raided a government-funded space station, killing almost everyone living there, including children, recorded the execution of the world's lead scientist, and that was on their very first appearance. Wait, the SWAT bot? I thought he looked familiar. Why would you use a SWAT bot from the Saturday morning cartoon as an enemy? Deek. I was right! These are Eggman's robots! Could Eggman be back? Is that possible? I don't believe it. How could Eggman have survived? Whoa, what do you mean survive? Did you kill Eggman? Why is this the third game where Eggman is supposed to have died? Do you know anything about someone named Shade? This is the first I've heard of this. We'll have Team Chaotix do some digging and see what we can come up with. We're on it! Wait, the government-funded military hired the private investigation group? You don't have your own federal bureau of investigation? The Bioware community site for Sonic Chronicles offers exclusive downloads, game secrets, and tips. Visit our Sonic Chronicles community site and enter the following code to get a cool surprise. Oh, sick! Well, site's dead. Well, what would the code have gotten me anyway? An Omega wallpaper. Riveting. God damn, I'll have whatever this chow's having. He's vibing like a motherfucker. Sorry, Sonic. We can't let you through here. Commander's orders. Okay, but you're in the middle of a road. What if cars want to pass by here? Oh. I guess the music just... gave up. Or they just didn't loop it. That could be the case too. Okay, this puzzle fucking sucks. Tell me with a straight face that this pipe from this isometric view looks like is in the back of the area. The pipe is bigger than the pipes that are closer to the camera. I was here for minutes because I thought the pipe was already hanging above us. And it doesn't help that this stupid control panel, which you don't even interact with, starts bouncing when two of the characters step on the first two switches. Sorry, Sonic. We can't let you through here. It's too dangerous. Why is it too dangerous? We have a division there on high alert to defend Angel Island from the Marauders. No one in or out, I'm sorry. The word island in Angel Island is not capitalized, even though it's a proper noun. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Nope, can't let it go, ding! Are we really going to fly in that? It doesn't look safe. Doesn't Dexter take you flying sometimes? Oh yes, all the time. His plane is magnificent. Why would your fictional boyfriend have a plane? Why is that part of his character? There'd better be something shiny in this place we're going. Knuckles is cute, but he's not much of a reward. You think Knuckles is cute? 
Boy, you sure are good at detecting sarcasm, aren't you? Yeah, especially in written form when there's no voice acting. At least add a word in caps or something if she's gonna be sarcastic. Big the cat! Amy! Ah! Uh, no hugs, Big. Not while you smell like that. What are you doing here, Big? Uh, I was just fishing in the lake over there, and I thought I heard my friend Amy Rose. Also, you live here. That could be a reason. So I know this is a video game, but where does the rest of the party go when Big walks through the fog or when any of the characters do any of their abilities that the others can't do for that matter? They're still in the party. I am two and a half hours into this game and already it's one of the most frustrating things I've ever had to do. I know that play styles are unique and subjective, but I also don't think what I'm trying to do is entirely unreasonable. I want to take them out one by one, starting with the Marauders because they're tougher than the robots. So I focus all my characters on one enemy to take them out more quickly, but then they use their phase ability, which means that any attack directed at the particular enemy I target will miss every time. And the robots have an evade ability, which does basically the same thing, so I'm lucky if I can even hit one of these bastards. On top of that, consider that some characters attack multiple times per round, meaning that Sonic, for example, who attacks three times per round, will miss all three times because I can only choose one target per character per round, except when I'm using a POW move, which would then let me attack different enemies in the same round with a single character. That is only if I do POW moves first, because if I attack an enemy, I have to commit to attacking that enemy however many times as my character attacks per round, which makes combat impossible to strategize, making fights long, drawn out, if not downright annoying. Oh, I fucking wish you could beat enemies that easily in the game. Oh, don't be pig-headed, Knuckles. You can't do this on your own. Fine. You can come. Don't get in my way. Your way? We came here to save you, remember? You've been gone a long time, Sonic, so I'll say this nicely. You're not the boss around here. Not anymore. You decided to go away for a while. Not me. You live on Angel Island. You go away all the time. Do the rest of you feel this way too? You have been gone a while, Sonic. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? But you came back when we needed you! What about you, Amy? I... I have a boyfriend. Oh my god, that is so not what he asked. I don't understand. How can Angel Island move away? How can Angel Island float? Point taken, Smarty. If Eggman's going to Angel Island, then so should we. I agree with Knuckles. We should go to Angel Island. But I... When we defeated Eggman the last time, it looked like he was gone for good. I don't think he could have recovered that much in so short a time. Well, don't all of you keep complaining about how long Sonic's been gone? You make it sound like he's been gone for months, if not years. Eggman could absolutely recover in that time frame if Sonic left after you defeated him last. I can't believe Eggman might really be back. We keep beating him, and he keeps returning. I wonder if it'll ever end! Don't worry, Amy. We'll be just fine. I'm not worried. It's just... What is it? Well, we always have to go out and fight Eggman. It'd be nice if, you know, we could have time to do other stuff. I could wake up in the morning and worry about normal things. Birds and flowers and... Worry about normal things? I'm sure you mean focus, right? Can't really say that birds and flowers are normal things to worry about. Tails just needs a little more time. Right. He needs to tinker with his machines. Meanwhile, the Marauders are about to get their hands on the Master Emerald. Well, excuse the fuck out of him, Knuckles. He's kind of the only ticket you have to get back to Angel Island. It's not like he doesn't want you protecting the Emerald. You know I can't let that happen, Sonic. I swore to protect the Emeralds with my life. And you've done a bang-up job, Knuckles. What with people stealing it, you breaking it, and abandoning it all the time. Ah, Sonic the Hedgehog. I heard you came back. What can I do you for? Oh, uh, no way! Eggman's here! Uh, I don't think there should be a period in that sentence when you mean to say that Eggman isn't here. You make it sound like he is. I do have a strange piece of equipment I picked up the other day. Maybe it's messing with your machine there. What sort of equipment? Oh, I got it from a salesman a couple days ago. Said his name was Sal, I think. He told me it was a coffee maker, he did. And I love me some coffee. <laughs> anyway, after he left, I couldn't get it to work. I treated in my favorite stapler for it, I tell you. I don't know what came over me. I'll say, you paid for what you thought was a coffee machine with a stapler instead of money like a normal person. And yeah, I know it was a trade, but how do you get a coffee machine for a stapler, even the nicest stapler in the world, and not think you just got scammed? 
Get me my stapler and this dratted machine is yours. Do you guys feel like doing this? If it's a piece of Eggman equipment, it might be worth looking at. Maybe it can help us find him. This poor man! We have to help him! This is a waste of time. We can't let that salesman get away with this. I'd be very grateful for your help, Sonic. But I understand if you can't do it. What do you know about this salesman? Named Sal, I believe. He's a shifty sword, but my old coffee maker went on the fritz, and I was desperate. Then buy a coffee machine, man! You're a shopkeeper! Or better yet, buy another fucking stapler! I know you cheated the shopkeeper! What? Me? Cheat? <laughs> you must be mistaken. The last time I traded anything to a shopkeeper was a fair deal. His stapler for my coffee maker. A deal is a deal, my friends. You look like smart folks, you know how the world works. And how does the world work? Trading. Something for something, nothing for nothing. It's the greatest thing in the world, trading. None of this cash money baloney. Well, and hear me out, you're giving someone money and in exchange they give you goods and or services. The very definition of a trade. Thank you. You saved me. How does this child look 8 and 30 years old at the same time? I live in Emerald Town. My family must be very worried. Thanks so much for saving me, Sonic. Please take me home to Central City. Central City? Didn't you just say you live in Emerald Town from Sonic Battle? Is Emerald Town in Central City? I know a town can become a city, but I don't think one can physically be inside the other. You wanna know what else absolutely blows? Not being able to switch my party members on the fly. Or, wait, no, I'm sorry, at any time, because you can change them on the fly. On the fly back to Central City at Tails' workshop? I don't even really want Big on my team right now, but I need him for the one thing. Why make me backtrack all the way back and make me commit to having him on my team when I'd rather have someone else? Team Amy? You mean Team Rose? How did you get that wrong? This is the only piece of Sonic Media to refer to Team Rose as Team Amy. She did? The only time I can really think of them interacting before this game was in Sonic Battle, where, yeah, they fought and bickered, but that was the point of the game. In Shadow the Hedgehog, they say, like, one thing to each other. When Eggman freed him from his stasis in a gun base on Prison Island, Shadow agreed to help him take over the world. Shadow once sought revenge for the death of his friend, Maria Robotnik. But Amy Rose helped him realize that Maria's true wish was to save humanity. Soon after, Shadow teamed up with Sonic to defeat Eggman. They didn't team up to defeat Eggman, they teamed up to defeat the Bio-Lizard, or more accurately, the Final Hazard, which was the result of Eggman's actions, but they weren't beating Eggman himself. Whoa! The Eggman detector's going crazy! We must be near something! <laughs> Sonic. I heard you were back. Hello, Shadow. Stop following me, Sonic. This isn't about you. What? The fuck does that even mean, Shadow? First off, we didn't even know you were here. Second, why would Sonic following you make things about Sonic? What? Ah, Blue Ridge Zone. You know, once you've terrorized an area once or twice, it's just never the same again. Uh... Uh... What? We don't know much about this place. We need to be careful. I've never really been here before. It seems... quiet. We've landed in Station Square! That means that the back door to Metropolis is to the north! Whoa, wait, hold the f*** up! You landed in Station Square from Sonic Adventure 1, at least I'm assuming that's the Station Square you're talking about, and Metropolis, which you've clearly been to in order to defeat Eggman, is just to the north of here. If that's so, how can you say you've never been in Blue Ridge Zone before? What happened to Omega? E-123 Omega is one of Eggman's most powerful robots. Unlike Eggman's other robots, however, Omega was... intelligent. He hated Eggman. Yes, Shadow, we know who Omega is. I appreciate that unlike Sonic Team nowadays who barely use him, you're willing to remind the audience of who he is, but I doubt anyone's first Sonic game was Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Wait a second, hold the fucking phone! Why is Shadow's HP 114 when every time we fight him, except the last time because I had just fought him two seconds before that, his HP has been 225? Come to Klondike? Like, the one in Canada? Is Canada canon in the Sonic universe? Canon and I <laughs> got him. Whoa, who are you? Are you Timmy? Timmy? No. Oh no, have you been speaking to my father? My name is Timothy. My father's getting on in age. He seems to think I'm still ten years old. I work down here, 
I seal cracks and keep animals and stuff out of the well. Does that mean you want to stay here? It means I wasn't in any danger. My father's just a kook. Or he's suffering from dementia, meaning that you really shouldn't leave your father unattended. I can't believe I'm saying this in a Sonic game, but yeah, a kook. Okay, this is bothering the hell out of me. Did anyone else think the beginning of Blue Ridge Zone's music, which is just a remix of Diamond Dust Zone Act 1 from the Saturn version of Sonic 3D Blast? I really shouldn't know that, but doing these videos is taking me down some weird information rabbit hole. Sounds like the intro to Justin Bieber's baby. You won't authorize to be here. Stop! Don't start the factory! Why not? If you pull the switch, you'll blow up the whole factory! What? Oh, for crying out loud. Did Johnson forget to close the breakers again? I tell you, that man would forget his own head if it wasn't attached to his body. I'll go reset the breakers before turning on the main power. But you better believe that Johnson's getting a talking to. A talking to? He wasn't rude to a customer, he almost caused an explosion that would have killed people! Fire his ass! Oh, you did it. I'm so relieved. Thanks to you, I won't lose my job when I go into work. Be more careful next time. Here, take this. I was gonna bribe my boss with it, but I don't really need it now. I'd better get to work before I'm fired for being late. If you were going to work anyway! Johnson is the worst Sonic character. This game is driving me insane. The phrases coming out of my mouth are ones I've never even thought I would come up with. That was it? That was the cutscene? Someone got paid for that? This game is fun, dude. Hey, it's Sonic. I'm glad you came along. Maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. The door is secured with a code lock. You have to enter the right sequence to open it. Ha, just as I remembered. The code is... Well, hmm. It has been a long time since I used this door. I've been working on this for a while now. How could you possibly have been working on this puzzle for a while when it was buried under a mountain of snow? Once we enter these tunnels, we will be in the Metropolis Underground. From there, we mount our assault. Sounds dangerous. Sounds stupid. Sounds like our only way in. Please, my furry friends, after you. <laughs> huh. That's exactly what I said while holding a door open at the last convention I went to. Do you know anything about this shade person? Not much, though. There's an old legend in Echidna history about an Echidna race called the Nocturnus Clan. Long ago, the Nocturnus Clan ruled much of the known world, crushing everyone in its path. They were rivaled only by my ancestors, led by their chief, Pachacamac. But at the height of their power, the Nocturnus clan disappeared. The whole civilization. Now, credit where credit is due, I like the story that Bioware tried to tell here, and it's obvious they did their homework when it came to Sonic lore, the previous game stories and all that, even if they do call Team Rose Team Amy, and even introduce concepts of its own that I think are cool. That being said, how does Knuckles know his ancestry so well? Who passed down all this information to him? His parents? Where are they? Sonic and I will take our team up into Metropolis and see what we can find out. We'll wipe out any marauders we see and try to stop them before they get to Angel Island. Eggman and I will take our team to Eggman's weapons lab! We'll put together a weapon we can use to even the odds against the marauders! I bet the marauders are everywhere up there! Do not fear. In my infinite wisdom, I crafted a system of tunnels beneath the city. We can use them to travel unnoticed! Brilliant. Yeah, well you say that, but we still have to cut through Metropolis at several points anyway because the tunnels aren't all connected, you doof. Cubert? With a little work, we could use a tracker I made to lock onto whatever signal we choose. We could fire it anywhere, but it would only hit what we tell it to hit. I hadn't thought of that. That's genius. Anywhere in the world, eh? We could take out the Marauders without hitting our friends. We could send them home, wherever that is, without hurting them. Right! But they will suffer no injuries. Not even a little. You can do it, Eggman. Just try. Not even a little tiny bit. On our team, we avoid fighting when we can, Eggman. I've been scavenging here in Metropolis since the egg carrier crash, and I've yet to get up on top of that building. There are deadly robots everywhere. How are you still alive? 
I haven't played Sonic Chronicles since I was a kid, and I remember liking it actually. But I swear to you, this footage perfectly encapsulates my experience playing it again. So much so that even though I've already beaten it, and I'm just looking back at my footage, I'm starting to get a headache again just due to how stupid this is. Phew! That was tough! Yes. They don't make them how I used to. No one else is making them. You're the only one making them. Wait, how did that miss? I fucked up all the prompts. Does nothing matter in this game? Again, you surprise me, my furry friend. Clearly, my genius is rubbing off. Never use the word surprise, furry, and rubbing off in conjoined sentences ever again. Omega, can you hear me? Systems coming online. E123 Omega beginning reactivation protocol. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. You'd have a nickel. I don't think we've ever heard Omega say that before. No, Omega. He's right. Eggman is helping Team Sonic against the Marauders. As hard as it is to believe. There is no reason to doubt Shadow or Rouge. There is no reason to trust the rest of these meatbags. Suddenly Bender from Futurama. I came here to destroy all other Eggman robots, but I was surrounded by strange creatures and forced to flee. The cowards followed me. They made their robots dismantle me while I was helpless. Disassembled by inferior machines. It was embarrassing. Come with us, Omega. We're going to destroy the Marauders for what they did to you. Yes, they will be destroyed for what they did to me. Ah, <sighs> again with the emotionless revenge. It just gets tired. Emotionless? He just said he felt embarrassment. That's a self-conscious, complex level emotion. Enough of this. You fought well, but even you cannot stop me from conquering this world. I have been imprisoned in the Twilight Cage for too long. Soon I will break free and shake the foundation of this universe. Emperor X, we never discussed conquering this world. We only wanted to return to it. I won't- Let me guess, silence. Silence! There it is. That's the Master Emerald? It's so tiny! That's a Chaos Emerald at best, a Ring Pop at worst! Suddenly Soundgarden. What is Ix up to? Why does he need the Emeralds? Ix hoped to use their power to return our clan to this world. At least, that was what he told us. Now I know he is using my people for his own selfish ends. Then the legends are true. It would seem so, although I have never heard them. Then how do you know what the hell he's talking about? What legends? The Nocturnus clan of Echidnas ruled much of the world some 4,000 years ago. They were only rivaled by my ancestors, led by Pachekamak. The Nocturnus clan disappeared not long after Perfect Chaos nearly destroyed my people. We always thought Perfect Chaos destroyed them, too. Perfect Chaos was Pachekamak's doing. Your clan paid the price for unleashing its anger, but my clan was spared. With our greatest rivals gone, the Nocturnus clan nearly colonized the rest of the world. Then we were exiled to the Twilight Cage. By whom? If you controlled most of the world and your only rival clan was the Knuckles clan and they were nearly wiped out by perfect chaos, who could have had the power to exile you? Wait! Shade is 4,000 years old? I don't understand why this is a plot point. Why can't Shade be a descendant of the Nocturnus clan instead of being ancient herself? The dimensional buffer is a fine invention. Pity I never had a chance to try it out. At least, not since that one time. I never did see those pants again. I would assume you have a thousand of that same pair of pants. Everyone, we're leaving right now. Gather your things and get on the ship. Good luck out there now. Without my genius working for you, you're in for quite a fight. Wait, Eggman, you're not going? Oh no, you'll need someone to help you with re-entry when you come back. Interdimensional travel isn't like dusting crops, boy. You'll need someone of supreme intellect to guide you back in. I'm not sure we should trust him here all alone. Come now, Sonic. What could I possibly get up to here? Oh, I don't know. Plot our demise, leave us trapped in the Twilight Cage, take over the world while leaving us there. Sonic, we have a problem. The ship landed all right, but we're completely out of power. And I think the dimensional buffer is shot. Are you saying we're stranded here? 
Well, not exactly. If we can find one of the Chaos Emeralds, we can use it to power the Cyclone. I just realized they call this proverbial spaceship the Cyclone, but the Cyclone is the Tornado 3, Tails' mech from Sonic Adventure 2. Also, you crash landed here. It would be really convenient if there were Chaos Emeralds on this planet. And perhaps you can use my warp belt to put together a new dimensional buffer. I could at that. And my instruments detect that there might be a Chaos Emerald on this planetoid. Oh, that's awfully convenient. Lordix must have planted one of the Chaos Emeralds here. Maybe he didn't want to keep them all in one place. Well, aside from Chaos Control and piecing back the world together that one time, they've kind of been useless on their own. I don't really see a benefit of having them separated if Ix plans to use their power. And if all I needed to return the Nocturnus clan to Sonic's world was the Master Emerald, why take the Chaos Emerald in the first place? Isn't this that rock monster that got cut from Star Trek V that Galaxy Quest made fun of? Wait, I can't go back to select a previous character if I mess up what I want them to do for the round? I HAVE TO RESTART MY ENTIRE SEQUENCE OF EVENTS?! Help us, you against Lord X. Mad gone, you. Mad gone. We're here to defeat X! If we can help you, maybe X will be weaker! Then speak you with Foreman Crag. Go you now, before change mind I do. You know, it's only now that I realize that it's very convenient that all the denizens of the Twilight Cage, be they the Kron, the Zoa, the Nergal, the Voxai, hell, even the Nocturnus clan speak basic English. Hey there, Big Blue. Got a moment? Sure. What's up? I have a secret, darling, and it's just for you and me. Before we left home, I got a message from Gunn. They have a little mission for me out here. They're curious about the Nocturnus and their technology. They want me to bring some back to them. Why do they want Nocturnus technology? They saw how easily the Nocturnus took out Knuckles and stole the Chaos Emeralds. They want some of that power for themselves. To defend the world, of course. Uh-huh. Stop, invaders. Zoa spies are not welcome here. Zoa spies? Ha! Yeah, this is Sonic the Hedgehog! Ah, uh, Sonic. Yes. You will meet with the Queen. Wait a minute. You know who I am? All the Twilight Cage knows Sonic. Yes, the Queen knows you. I know you are Zoa Spies. Wait, you just said you knew who Sonic was. You should know he's not even from this dimension and therefore has nothing to do with the Zoa. Ix gave you a Chaos Emerald? Chaos Emerald, Gem of Power, yes, Lord Ix is a generous ruler. Did you know we gave one to the Kron too? He did, not a surprise. Lord Ix protects his subjects. So, what do you want from us? We do not fear the Soa. Their energy weapons cannot hurt us. But their secret weapon frightens us. Go, steal the Zoa weapon and return with it in tow. We will forget that we captured you and give you the Chaos Emerald you so pathetically crave. For a race so devoted to their master, they sure are willing to just give away a weapon he gracefully gifted to them. Why don't you send your warriors to do this? If we sent Nurgal warriors, it would be an act of war. The Zoa would not hesitate to use their weapon against us. Need we remind you, your freedom is at stake. Uh, not really, considering that you're not sending anyone with us to ensure that we're doing what you want. For all you know, we could go and conspire with the Zoa. So, where to now? It looks like the Nergal have locked the Cyclone onto the Zoa colony. I can't change our navigation to anywhere else. So we're still the prisoners then. Again, not really. You could just land in the Zoa colony and have Tails Engineer away for him to get back in control. Do you know anything about a secret weapon? Hmm. Yes, I think I do. I remember the day it arrived. 
A large gem, right? That sounds like a Chaos Emerald! An engagement ring would sound like a Chaos Emerald to you. Silence. Who's that? You have passed your test, scrappy little spies. But I understand you petitioned for the right of challenge. Heed my Zoa. Before you stand enemies of Lord Ix. They have survived to win their citizenship, and now they dare to challenge me. Wait, our citizenship test was fighting three large alien creatures with electric barriers? Still easier to get than the American citizenship. Is that really a sin on the game? Ah, whatever. Will you join us against Dix? We support you, but we cannot aid you. Not until it is clear that the tide will turn. Well, the tide would turn a lot more fucking easily if you helped us. You're that thing I've seen running around. It had the same spiky hair as you. You saw someone like me running around too? Someone like you? No, it was you. I recognize that pointy head anywhere. Clearly you wouldn't, considering that Sonic and Shadow's quills point in different directions. Apologies for the display. We are in a hurry to know what you found. We have the Zoa secret weapon. It is a gem like our gem of power. Yes! This is a Chaos Emerald! Ix stole these from our world, and he gave one to both you and the Zoa! Then Lord Ix lied to us. And everyone seems so surprised. This is Vox High Colony Beta. To be honest, I never spent much time working with the Vox High. Lord Ix ordered us to keep our distance. Because he feared they might control your mind? Exactly. The Voxi Overmind keeps peace by controlling and tapping the minds of its people. Nocturnus patrols found themselves watched from all sides. Many of my brethren found themselves under the Overmind's control. We never saw them again. I think we can rely on the Chaos Emerald to protect us, but when we leave the ship, we might be vulnerable. Hey, the last time the Zoe attacked us right when we left the ship. The way I see it, we're one step ahead already. We don't have a choice. To take on Ix, you need the Chaos Emeralds. And there were two here in this sector. My mind is strong. I'm not worried. <laughs> My name is Thebes, and you are Sonic the Hedgehog, and these are your friends. At least for now. Enemies of the Nocturnus are not welcome here. If you value your free will, leave now. What's going on here? I can't. I don't. I'm sorry. I feel so lost. But you. Such purpose. You seek powerful gems. Yes, the Chaos Emeralds. The great emeralds that power the Overmind. I know the Overmind is hunting you, and your minds tell me of your deeds in Sector Sila. The Zoa and Nagal Reconciled. Well, I wouldn't say reconciled, more denuclearized, so to speak. Oh no, my friends. The Overmind must have moved the Emerald already. That must be how they took control of my friends. We have to act fast. I'll scout around and see who else has been turned against me. Be careful, Thebes. Don't worry about me. I'm used to moving around here unseen. Oops, I guess they accidentally forgot to add parentheses for Thebes' dialogue here. Ah, there you are. Thebes sent me here to help you. This machine generates the force wall that keeps the Overmind safe. You have to shut down this machine before you can face the Overmind. I'm not sure how it works, but maybe I can give you a hint or two. How are you resisting the Overmind's control here? Thebes took a passcode from Felt's mind. That code seems to be protecting me from the Overmind's control. Well, that makes sense. The Overmind would think that you're Thelks, but the Overmind also thinks that we're Thelks, so wouldn't it find it suspicious if it detects two separate Thelkses? This is the most confusing puzzle in the game, and I know I could have asked the Voxi for a hint, but there's very little to indicate what I have to do to begin with. I solved it through trial and error. In fact, looking back on this footage, I'm convinced I still have no idea how I solved it. Is that? Yes. A Mark I Gazord body shell. Ah, I remember. There used to be Gazords all over the place. I even called one of them friend. Too bad, though. After we were stranded here, I couldn't find him. I guess he never made it through the wormhole. A lost Gazoid? Could that have been Emerald? Emerald? You know a Gazoid named Emerald. We never named them. I suppose if he was in your world and you met him, then it must be him. 
All others were accounted for. Such a sad story. He was our finest creation, but he had such a temper. Wait, I thought the fourth great civilization built the Gazoids. They did. That's what he's saying, Knuckles. Is... Is this? It is! It's Doomsday Zone from Sonic 3! Listen to how you massacred my boy! I hope the others will be alright! I guess we better get moving! Sonic the Hedgehog! I knew you were coming! It's Karen! How do you know which one is which? I mean, yeah, Shade told us where each one's base is, but you don't know, this could be Scylla. There's the switch! <laughs> Sounds like that did it! Let's keep moving, team! Carob's still out there! Right! I can feel it! Keep your eyes open, team! Let's go! We haven't heard from Knuckles in a while. I hope he's okay. Wait, so the whole time Knuckles, Shade, and the others were making their way past the turret and up to where Scylla is, you guys have just been standing here? Why? This is a bunch of boosh, by the way. Before Tails can take down the force field around the Gazoid Centurions, we can only do chip damage to them, but they can wail on us all they want. And when the fight starts up again after Tails takes down their force fields, we have to fight with whatever damage was dealt to us earlier, but their health is replenished. Wait, those are stairs? That looks like a fucking roof! Why would the wall have these isometric lines? I swear to fuck, this counter ability is so goddamn annoying. Watch how I replenish my health, and because one, one Nocturnus had counter, we all end up with way less than we should have in one round. Why does my pee-pee go down when we're underwater? You know, now that I've said it out loud, I get it. The valve control for Carob's layer should be through that door over there. If we flip that switch, That'll drain the water out of Carob's lair. Sonic's team won't drown fighting Carob. Got it. Let's go. What the hell are you talking about? How would you A, know that Sonic's group is in the sewers fighting Carob, and B, know that they're drowning? When Tails called you, you kind of blew them off because you were about to fight Scylla, and you have no context for what they're dealing with right now. So Scylla and Carob are both down, and we've recovered both of their Chaos Emeralds. That means the Nocturne should. You were right, Shade. We stopped moving. Wait, why have we stopped moving? I thought the Master Emerald was making Nocturne move. And yeah, you could say that Ix needed the Master and Chaos Emeralds, but he has the Master Emerald which can control the Chaos Emeralds. It should make no difference that we have them. This is useless. There are no exits here. But I remember it was here. It was right here! They must have changed things around. They must have... Knuckles! hasn't noticed us yet. What do you mean he hasn't noticed you yet? Who do you think teleported you in there, you dumbass? Everyone get back! Now! You've done it now, Ix! Super Sonic's gonna take you down! The... That was your transformation? That had as many frames of animation as the Genesis Super Forms. Wait, that was it? 
I could have sworn that fight lasted way longer. That's the most pathetic final boss I've ever seen! <laughs> what the f is this? I accidentally paused during writing the script and found this gem of a still. I'm begging someone make this their profile picture somewhere. This is official Sonic art from a published game. Welcome back, team. You've been gone a long time. Might have been better if you hadn't returned. But I was hoping Wow! Do you believe that ending? Seriously, it looks like we're done for. At the hands of Eggman, no less! I can't believe he'd turn on us like that! Yeah, surprise, surprise! My biggest concern is how we could have built up such an army so quickly! We weren't gone very long! I didn't recognize the world when we got back. It looked as if we'd been gone for years! I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things, if we manage to survive that crash! Good point! I guess we'll have to wait for the next episode! <laughs> Okay, so not only breaking the fourth wall, but it's adorable that you thought you were getting a sequel. Then there's a design team, starting with Miles Holmes, the lead designer. Hey, another Miles. I wonder if you two also share the same IQ. I seriously doubt it. I'm a super genius, Sonic. And so humble about it. I noticed we look really sweet in this game. Yeah, really sweet. What about audio? Who did that? Steve Sim, I hear. Get it? I hear? For the audio guy? <laughs> did... Did you just fucking do that stupid thing I do in calling out a pun? Seriously? So somewhere out there some kid might be playing this in, uh... Spanish? Si, Sonor! You could have added an enya to the font. Sonor doesn't mean anything. Dan Touch, for starters! He got the handheld grip started before moving on to another project called Dragon Age! Hey Dragon Age fans, how does it feel that the game's first in-game mention was in the skippable credits of a Sonic game a year before Dragon Age Origins released? I'll also get 123 Omega to rattle off the external credits! This ought to be good. Omega, do you know the rest of the people who worked on this game? Our adamantium double lubricated actuator joints capable of boosting my ground speed by approximately 15%? Uh... The answer is yes to both questions. Let me begin. I trust you will find this highly entertaining. Do I have a choice? Yes. In fact, I've had three opportunities so far to skip these credits, but I wouldn't be getting these sins if I did now, would I? Why are two of these text boxes the same, but one of them includes James and Katie Hayes? Did you accidentally forget them and added them later? Damn it! Marta Luis Gonzalez's name is supposed to have an accent! Unless Gonzalez ends in an NS or a vowel, that sh should be accented! And it's not like you couldn't! Sebastián Pérez Alguero has two accents in his name, and you added those! We would also like to thank Nitrogen Studios Canada Incorporated for their most engaging cinematics. Engaging cinematics? You mean the two second comic book animations? My N-Slate animations have more effort put into them, and I do those in a few hours! Also, guess what Sonic Chronicles, Thomas and Friends, and the movie Sausage Party have in common? Yeah, the movie where the hot dog wants to fuck a piece of bread. They had the same animators. I can't make this shit up if I tried! And guess what? They apparently worked on God of War, too, but went uncredited. And this rabbit hole is as fucking insane as this game, because although they went uncredited in God of War and credited in this game, I can't find them being credited for this game anywhere else. Sonic Chronicles isn't on their Wikipedia, their IMDb. I would check their own site if I could, but apparently it just doesn't exist anymore. Imagine going uncredited in a beloved PS2 classic, but Sonic Chronicles? Oh man, put my name on that. You think I want to play this game again?
everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Sonic Battle? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I5, 